Hi everybody. I have something exciting to announce today. My latest Tavor shipment has arrived. So we've got to unbox it. We can't let it sit in the box. We're not quite done tasting the beers that came in the previous shipment, but we're going to go ahead and unbox these because today happens to be my birthday and this box totally arrived with a beer in it that I cannot literally wait to try. So we're going to unbox this and get into it. Okay, just opened the box, almost broke a nail, but did not, so that's good. Let's see what's in here. It's, it's a lot of good beers this time. It was good beers last time, it's good beers this time. Let's look at the cheat sheet. I mean, I can't share any of this with you though, we've gotta unbox them, okay. There are a couple of doubles in here. Uh, for instance, I think this one, oh my gosh, Suicide Squeeze, special edition IPA, which we all deserve, you know. Uh, this, I mean, like how stupid, but this can is really luxurious and kind of rich. So that's fun. I think there's two of those. Oh, let's see where uh, those are from. Fort George Brewing. Let's see. Just Fort George. Thanks for sending your suicide squeeze, Fort George. Okay. Yes, there's two of those. Um, I also should say something about Tavor for anybody who didn't see the last unboxing. So just real quick, uh, Tavor is a subscription service that I use. Um, I live in New York State, kind of in the middle of New York State, and they ship to me from Seattle, Washington, this box came from. And it, it doesn't take a super long time, I don't, like a week. Um, they ship to a local courier who brings it right to my door. Uh, they do require a signature, although not always. The first time they're definitely going to require a signature and it's Tuvor's policy that they do that. So um, these beers are semi-curated. So there's a certain amount of new beers available and they email you daily. I don't know if you can hear that siren. They email you daily and let you know what the beer for the day is. There's often more than one. So you also can check the app and you can see the uh, beers that are like live. And then you either email them back and say, I'd like one of those please or two of those, or you just order it through the app. Uh, you have a card on file with them and you pay for each beer as you drop it in there. And then on the end, uh, there's a shipment fee of, for me, it's a little under $15 and the beer ships out to you. And they'll actually ship as many beers to you for that shipping rate uh, as you can, you know, fast and furious, how many can you buy? So that's really pretty great also. Um, if you only want two beers in a particular month, that might be a lot to ship, but chances are pretty good you're gonna want more than two. The Whoever is curating these beers, it's like really good. I'm legitimately excited, so I'm probably being a little silly. Let's see what else. That's about it, it's really easy. If you'd like to join, we do have a code that gives you $10, and it also puts $10 in our Tavor Kitty, which we sure would appreciate, because we drink a lot of beer. So it's kind of like a wash. We'll do each other a little favor. Or sign up yourself, because as long as you find your way to great craft beer, that's what's really important. Uh, public service announcement complete. Back into the beers. Okay, suicide squeeze, check. Oh, the creek. This beer is going to be delicious. Creeks are, as I understand it, lambics, which were brewed with cherries. 
So I have had a couple of lesser quality creeks and I'm really looking forward to this one. These fruit uh, sours are my absolute favorite. I know most of them now are fruity, but this is like one of the OG fruity um, sours. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, Council Brewing Company. Beautitude Passion Fruit Tart Saison. For obvious reasons, I would like to drink this beer. Uh, Beautitude is the French word for bliss, which is what we float away on whenever we enjoy this specially brewed beer. Wow. Bliss in a bottle. Although this tart saison is brewed in the historical Wanaloian tradition of other low-gravity tart farmhouse ales, the magic happens when our house blend of Brettanomyces, Lactobacillus, and saison yeast throw an out-of-this-world party in our fermenters. So we have a lot of sourness happening in this beer. This yields a beer with a lacto-forward nose, an intensely tart passion fruit flavor, a doughy complexity from our no-boil process, and takes the, the word refreshing to a whole new level. I mean, it's not like they're going to say on the side of their own beer, this beer's eh, but that's pretty enticing. So these folks are from San Diego, California. I don't see an ABV, but I'm sure it's here somewhere. Awesome. I'm excited about that one. There's a lot of sours in here, I believe. Okay. 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 As excited as I was about pseudo Sue last time, I think this is like beyond, because here's what happened real quick. I ordered the pseudo soup. I knew it was coming. I was all excited. But I felt like I hadn't really had a New England style IPA since that term had really become something we were throwing around a lot. So I know the Fat Morgana really is a NEPA, but you know, sometimes it's a little bit different when somebody says, this is a NEPA, and, and they didn't, but it was fairly obvious that it was a hazy, pulpy, fruity beer. So I, I started to look them up a bit. I also was looking up, of course, Adroit Theory because I had Now I Am Death Destroyer of Worlds coming to me. If you didn't see that tasting, you should because that beer blew my mind and I like babbled like a jerk. So you can watch me babble like a jerk and see the beautiful color of the beer and then read the blog post, which is going to make a bit more sense in terms of thoughts. Um, okay. So while I was looking up those two things, the intersection of those two things is this beer, EBK by Adroit Theory. I'm obsessed with them. The way this beer looks in the glass, in the photos, on the internet, poof, it's unbelievable. It's It ranges from sort of a, a beautiful milky yellowish orange to like orange juice colored it's amazing so i cannot wait to try this beer in fact i'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and try it a little bit later when it's cold um it's pretty fresh it could have been a little fresher it was bottled on 3 16 17 which is another reason why we're drinking it tonight birthday beer okay it's 8.5 abv and it is a New England Imperial India Pale Ale. So we're calling it right out. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, but that's not all. <laughs> Hop whooping. <laughs> this is a hop whooping. Whooping. Probably whooping. You're probably being whooped by the hops. Oh, 95 IBUs. You are being whooped by the hops. Intense, freakish, obnoxious, aggressive, and deranged. Join the fight against boring beer. Okay. Okay. This is from Oso oh Brewing. They obviously have a sense of humor, and that's super fun. Well, geez. 
freakish, obnoxious, excessive, and deranged. Okay. I think there's two of those. <laughs> yes, we're going to be very deranged. Twice, two times we'll be deranged. Or two of us at once will be deranged. Oh, Douglas. Okay. So, Uwe tells me that really this is the same beer that was called Tropic Thunder there in Sweden, and then they couldn't call it that here because, I presume the movie, some kind of copyright issue. So this is a collaboration between Douglas and Stillwater. Both of those breweries are fab, so I can't imagine this isn't going to be any good. I feel like... if you can now hear the cat. I feel like I saw uh, sour worms or gummy worms or something used in somebody's copy, which was probably uh, Tavor's. This has a little lacto in it. It's going to taste like mango, passion fruit, and peach. So fantastic. Oh, okay. This is really cool too. A little bit ago in the last box, I tasted the Hopworks IPX Mosaic Hop, and this is the Chinook of the same series. And I guess each of these beers uh, is salmon safe, so really cool. Uh, I'll include a little info about salmon safe hop practices. I Maybe I'll do a whole post on it. It seems to be Hopwork Urban Brewery's thing, so cool, okay. Uh, this also has some great information on the label. I really think the label is robust and helpful, which is super. Uh, you know, it's going to be delicious and tastes like Chinook. And that is going to help me, again, isolate Chinook all on its own. So that's why I'm into that. We'll do a little compare and contrast. Uh, I actually am floating a little idea about maybe comparing and contrasting two beers in the same video. So we'll see whether that ever materializes or not, but you may see that with the other one, or you may see them separately. It's anybody's guess, really. Okay. Oh, that one didn't even want to come out of the box because it is so huge. Oh, Council Brewing Company. Where have you been all my life? This is a mango tart, Saison from the same brewery that this one came from. And these are much bigger than I thought they were. You'll learn this about me, my new friends. I don't have any spatial reasoning at all. So sometimes it will make sense to me. I drink a lot of beers, so I know I can picture in my head what, what a regular size beer looks like. And I'm aware that that's 12 ounces. But we get bigger than that and it could be Martian to me. So that's always a little extra surprise. Well, okay, guys. That's what we've got for this unboxing. So I'm going to chill some of these down and we'll start tasting them together. I really appreciate you joining me for this month's edition of our Tavor unboxing. Uh, you can watch last month's if you'd like to, either right here at YouTube or at the blog where you may have found this video embedded. If you did not find your way here through the blog, I really encourage you to check that out. There's a lot of helpful and we hope interesting information for people who really like beer. We want to tell you more about the beer, a little more about the brewery. We keep it pretty brief though. We also give a little bit of a stronger or um, more thoughtful opinion about the taste of the beers there. So uh, you can follow us on social media and we really would like it if you did. Please remember that you can like this video and comment underneath it. You can share this content with your friends and we would love to hang out with them too and drink some beers. So all right guys, thanks a lot. I'm off to drink an EBK. Enjoy your evening. Bye.